Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Tribulation Institute. Welcome back to all my new subscribers, old subscribers, and those that are going to. Today's topic, a little leaven makes a big lie pie. Don't eat it. You know, you've heard of uh, eating things sacrificed unto idols. I'll leave a link. I wrote a whole article about that a long time ago. Anyway, this teaching is a blockbuster. What do you mean by that? It's busting the blockage of the truth concerning yesterday, April Fool's Day, and uh, ooh, Easter, Resurrection Sunday, they call it, that will trigger a succession of events that will fool those that don't have God's knowledge of those events, but cling unknowingly to the tree of death. You know, in the garden, you know, Revelation says that um, Yahshua is the tree of life. Well, there was another tree in there, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, and that was the dragon, the serpent. It's the tree of death. You know, the horse rider on the pale green horse of the apocalypse, and that's up here on the chart, and there's a link to it, you take a look at it, the green horse rider of the fourth seal that will begin in October, that's six months from this Passover, which is April 8th, the day of the eclipse. You know, you can go ahead and subscribe right now before you forget and hit the notifications button, like, and share. You know, that's how he deceives the saints of God. Give a little a little good, a little truth, and then twist it uh -huh, with the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Slip a little evil in the message. And most people are totally oblivious because they don't have enough word in them, in their spirits, in their souls, not that carnal mind, to combat it. That's why we're supposed to study all of us, not just pastors and teachers and preachers. They are there to help you do the work of the ministry, which nobody in Christianity wants to do. They want to leave it up to the pastor. And they ain't got a clue what the Bible says because it's still collecting dust. All right, where were we? Um, let me give you an example. Those who partake of, of the tree, quote, quote, this is the good part, 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty one, and we all know what that is. It's about being caught up, which is the resurrection. It's about catching up which is a rapture, and then add the evil to it, calling it the rapture, the rapture. And what comes forth out of it, a little leaven, right? destroys the whole lump. Evil doctrines of devils. You know, that's what the Bible calls it. And you know, there are doctrines of devils. And if you don't know what they are, oh, yeah, I know. You're thinking, oh, yeah, I'm the one that's got doctrine of devils. Oh, boy. Uh, you know, after, 35, after nearly 40 years of studying this with an open mind for only the truth, mind you, and still being deceived on a simple thing like the resurrection and the rapture, if I've still got that wrong, Boy, I must be the stupidest, watch out what you call me now, the stupidest person on the planet. No, seriously. Here's a little tidbit on a side note. Here's how you know that you're growing in the knowledge of him, of the word, who is Yahweh made flesh, Emmanuel, God with us, is that you're constantly changing as you receive more truth from the Holy Spirit as you study to show the Word. You go, oh, you know, I was wrong in that. Well, 
that's good. I'm glad that the Holy Spirit showed me I was wrong. Why? Because I can, when that golden calf falls by the wayside, I can move on with some more truth and he'll show me some more. That's what growing is all about. Not defending what you learned the first three days, first three weeks, or not learned, or listened to in, in them churches of Baal that you're still going to. Get late, people. It's time to wake up. Um, I didn't get to say much in this. Uh, this is supposed to be part one. Um, and I ain't even a third through it. Anyway, I'm going to cut this short. Subscribe. Do all those good things. And hit the notifications button for sure so you can get the rest of the teachings. Probably four, five, six parts to this. So that you'll absolutely know for sure what the heck is going on. All right? Love you. See you next time.